Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is my day as a beekeeper. We had a pretty exciting week this week with the big robbing the other day, but I think I solved that problem. I closed up that opening with a screen in the back. I'll show you about that in a second. Um, also, Honey Bee Honey user, Honey Bee Honey, uh, has given me tons of suggestions that I'm gonna try out today. First thing, I opened up the, the entrance completely on the bottom. Um, he suggested opening it all the way up because he says I have a strong hive and my bees should be, be able to defend themselves if that's the only opening. So I opened that up all the way. Today I'm also going to change my ventilation scheme and I'm not going to put my feeder up on slats so that the smell of syrup will attract more bees. So I'm going to put the feeder back down where I used to have it, but I'm going to open up ventilation in another space. I'll get to that in a second. All right, let's get into this. First, let me put on my veil. This has been empty for a while, like several days. All right. Let's see if they've done any work up here. All right, we got festooning happening, but no comb, I see no comb. Well, that's a little disappointing. Hmm. These frames are sticky. There's the queen. There she is. All right, I'm gonna keep this one in the box. Man, they got these frames packed. They're just st stuck. All right. All right, I'm gonna have a look at the bottom. Not even finished with this frame. I got a bee emerging right now. Right here. There's two. There's one here, oh, coming right out. Right here. There's a bee emerging. Hello, bee. Yep, they are not happy with me at all. One of those days today. Wow, 
lot of brood, no honey, very lightweight. Yeah, they are just super angry today. All right, you know what? I'm gonna close them up because they are just not happy at all right now. Very, very aggressive. All right. They are pissed. Not having fun tonight at all. Here's the little trick that I was told to try. I'm going to raise the inner cover, the back of the inner cover up with nickels. Nickels. Nickel. 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 All right, so now we got a space in the back here. And now I'm going to put my feed back on because I'm gonna feed them now, but I'm not going to use slats. It's going back down directly onto the inner cover. This will seal off the smell of the syrup. So inside the hive can access the syrup but uh, the smell of the syrup isn't gonna come wafting up out of the hive. What was happening was the syrup smell was coming up into this top box and escaping out the back because there's a gap in the back of this hive, the flow hive. So the smell of the syrup was coming up and robber bees were coming in from the back. So now my syrup is directly on the inner cover I have ventilation underneath the under. Oh no, I got a bee. I'm sorry about that. Ouch. Whoops. All right. We have ventilation under the inner cover out of the top of the hive, but that's too small for a bee to get through. We have the syrup directly on the hive, on the uh, directly on the inner cover. And then this is just gonna cover it up like so. All right, that was, that was a little tense. I wanna say the bees may be a little sensitive because just three days ago they were getting totally robbed and uh, they just saw me as an intruder. Maybe they were just coming at me, I don't know. But they were not friendly like they have been for the last two months. Uh, so anyway, I saw the queen. I saw that there is no comb development in the upper medium uh, at all. There is comb in the lower boxes that is still not even complete. So, and they're not even building anymore. It seems to have come to a halt. So don't know what's up with the comb building. Uh, I think this time of year, I did hear that uh, comb slows down, but I didn't think they would just completely stop. Nights are getting chilly. I wouldn't say cold, but there's definitely like a fall chill in the air here the last few nights. Days are still 90 degrees and hot, but uh, the nights are getting a little cool. So I'm hoping that they start to maybe, you know, get triggered to start storing some nectar. 
Uh, we do have wildflowers. We have goldenrod out now. I am feeding them syrup and hopefully they get on to some comb building and some filling up the cells. So that's all the news from the Vino farm. If you have any suggestions on uh, what I should be doing with this medium box, if, if they're going to build some comb on it, if you think maybe they're going to build comb on it, should I leave it here? Should I just take it off? I would love any feedback on that. I do appreciate all of the feedback. Uh, again, Honey Bee Honey has been great this past week, giving me tons of feedback on the hive. Please let me know what you think about this, what I've done today. And uh, if anyone else has suggestions, please comment below. Uh, I'm loving the comments. There's just so much helpful information. Uh, some of it's a little contradictory to each other, but a lot of it makes a lot of sense and I'm, I'm putting it into practice. So please comment, uh, thumbs up and all that stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe if you can, and please have a fantastic subscribe.